y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about makeup that has stood the test of time. Makeup that is really, really good that I have been using for a long time. So my criteria for makeup to be mentioned in today's video is I had to have been using it before 2021. So we're in 2022. I had to have started using this product 2020 or before. Makeup that really, like I said, has just stood the test of time. Makeup that is not new. Makeup that maybe doesn't get all the hype, but it's still such good makeup and it's still makeup that if you have never tried, I still recommend and I think it's worth trying. Now, I saw Andrea Matiliano do this video. I absolutely love her channel. I will have her video linked to down below, but I saw her video and I thought it was such a good idea and I clicked on it and I watched the intro where she was talking about the video and I was like, I have to do this. So I immediately clicked off because I did not want to see what she mentioned. I did not want to like get influenced by what she said. I wanted to go into my collection fresh and look at what do I have that I'm still reaching for even after the years, even after the hype has died down, what are some of these products that have stood the test of time? So that is what we are gonna talk about today. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, shopping, or stash, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. So if you are looking for new fun makeup content, this is the place to be. But I do have a lot of awesome makeup and even some skincare to share with y'all. So let's jump into it. Okay, let's start off with this primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This primer I have been using seven years. I bought this, I remember when my brother got married, the makeup artist used this on my sister-in-law's face for her wedding day and she and I just fell in love with this primer and I've been using it and buying it since then. I think, I mean, this is my third or fourth one to go through. I used to buy the little samples of it because they would last forever. But you can even see now how much of this primer I've used. I'm wearing it today. And what this primer does is it just kind of smooths everything out. It's a very smoothing primer without making the makeup slide around. I feel like when I use this primer, I get a smooth effect and my makeup lasts. Sometimes with soothing, smoothing primers, they can have so much silicone in them that after a few hours the makeup tends to slide around on the face. Not so with this primer. It is what it says. It's like a veil on the skin. It does come out white but when I rub it into the skin it buffs away. You can't see anything and then when I go over with foundation I just feel like I get a beautiful effect. Again it's smoothing while still allowing my makeup to last a long time. That's why I'm sure the makeup artist chose it for my sister-in-law for her wedding day because it's just so beautiful. Again I did use it today and I always have a good experience when I use this primer. Let's talk about this concealer from Dose of Colors. This is the Meet Your Hue Concealer. This came out, I think in 2019, maybe 2020, and I have enjoyed it so much. I think if you have oily skin like me, you will really like this concealer. It's a very medium to buildable full coverage. It lays on the skin so beautifully. It it just, this this is what I have on today. I feel like I look so nice. It covers any dark circles that I may have from not sleeping. I do have oily skin, but I am 34 years old, so I do have some fine lines, and I need a concealer that will stay on my skin all day, that my oils aren't gonna break through. I need something that's gonna be smoothing with these fine lines under my eyes, 
and I love the Dose of Colors for that. I have been buying it for so long. One thing I love about Dose of Colors is they run a lot of sales. So usually when they have a sale, when they're doing like 25% off, something like that, I grab a couple of these and it's definitely a concealer that has stood the test of time for me. Okay, if you've been at my channel for a while, it's gonna come to no surprise that I mention my MAC paint pot. This I have been using as an eye primer for so long. I have been using this as an eye primer longer than my son has been alive. I was using this before I was pregnant. My son is 12 now. I've been using this a very long time. This, I use the shade Lay In Low. It's a perfect like skin tone shade for my eyelids, a little bit lighter than I am, so it helps the shadows to pop. You can see how much of this one I've used. I've actually ordered another one. It's on its way to me because I can't be without this. It is the Holy Grail eye primer. And I love testing new eye primers. I love seeing new ones. But this is the Holy Grail. This one I've been using for so long. Again, I have oily skin, but I also do have oily eyelids. And if I don't use an eye primer, it doesn't matter how great the shadow is. I'm going to crease. My oils, they're just coming through, you know? And this, this, is, this is it. I can never be without this. Never. It's amazing. It's a staple product for me. And even though it's not new and hyped and all this, it's amazing. All right, let's talk about some lip products for a minute because I have some lip products that I've been using for so long, y'all. Let's talk about first these NYX Suede Lip Liners. These are not all the shades. I just grabbed a handful out of my little lip liner bin, okay? And these, 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 these NYX Suede, are they called Suede Matte Lip Liners? They are so good. They're $5 or under. There's all kinds of shades and I love them. I buy new ones. I use old ones. They have been around. They continue to be around and they are so good. Let me kind of tell you what I like about these. I don't even remember what color I grabbed today. I think it was this one. I think I'm wearing... I think I'm wearing Sandstorm. This is a pencil liner, so you do sharpen it, but it gives you a nice clean line without being too dry. Sometimes with pencil liners, you're like scraping at your lip line trying to get some color payoff, or you have a liner that's so creamy, you put it on and it just moves everywhere. These are the best lip liners at the drugstore, in my opinion. I really like the Juvia's Place ones as well. Those are a twist up, but those I think didn't launch until last year. So I'm not talking about these, I'm talking about these NYX. These, they're creamy enough that you can draw a nice line. They really remind me a lot of the MAC lip pencils. Again, they're just great. I mean, they're so good. I continue to buy them and add more to my collection. They're such a nice formula and they don't wear away super quick, which is very important to me. Okay, I also have to mention my Propa Beauty lipsticks. I have bought a lot of these. Some of these have been sent to me. I love this lip formula. I love Propa Beauty lipsticks. This is a black owned indie brand. But these are at a drugstore price point and they're so good. I do have an affiliate code with Propa Beauty. You can use Heather to save. But this formula is amazing. Like I said, I've bought some of these on my own. My favorite shade at the moment is Moxie. Now these are a very creamy, natural, like satin finish lipstick. This is the shade that I'm wearing today. I love the sleek packaging beautiful. I like that we have a sticker at the bottom that so shows the shades, but what makes me keep using these lipsticks is the formula. It's very creamy. It's not drying. Very, like I said, it's that kind of satin finish that I really, really enjoy. I pulled out just three. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of these over there, but I pulled out three of my kind of favorites. This is a deep shade. This is Audacious. It's like a berry shade that I really love. And then Moxie is my favorite, but my favorite for a long time was Finesse. It's just like a brown nude shade on me. I love it. 
Not only is the packaging and price point amazing, but the product inside is so good. If you are somebody who likes a bullet lipstick like this, but you struggle with the dry lips and you don't like a lipstick that kind of emphasizes any texture you might have, check these out from Papa because they glide on so well and you still get that intense color payoff. Okay, also for lips, I have to mention Lunar Beauty Lip Glosses. I love Lunar Beauty. I have been loving Lunar Beauty. I think my first time trying them was 2019. And I have more than 10 glosses now. Every time Lunar Beauty launches a lip gloss, I'm like, give it to me. Gotta have it. Holy grail, better than any other lip gloss I have are the Lunar Beauty glosses. I am a gloss type of girl. I love a glossy lip. I love a gloss that makes my lips look like this. Juicy, hydrated, plump all those beautiful adjectives we like to use. I love these glosses. Again, I have a ton, but I pulled out just a few shades. I, today, am wearing this shade, actually, Divine. It's so beautiful. Not only is the packaging gorgeous, like, look, it has this little crystal on top, and then we have the white to the clear ombre, but the formula is so nice. It's not a sticky gloss. It's almost watery but in a great way. Not watery and then it's runny, but it's just the perfect gloss formula. They smell like cupcakes and it's a thin formula to where you don't feel like your lips are sticking together. Now, don't get me wrong. I can totally do a thick lip gloss. You know, I'm thinking about the MAC lip glosses. I can do a thick lip gloss and I'm good, but these are the best because they feel so thin. Like I said, almost watery, but hydrating and they don't feel sticky. It doesn't feel thick on the lips. It's just a very comfortable formula. It comes in so many shades. I love his shimmer ones, especially because I love a shimmery gloss and it's not a chunky glitter. It's a very fine shimmer that catches the light so well. I also like his non-shimmery glosses, his clear gloss, all of it. You get it, I love them. Let's talk about Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've been using this for years. I don't even want to guess how long. I'm so happy Physicians Formula has been expanding the shade range because I feel like when they first launched, I was never able to like get the perfect shade. And then they kind of made some deeper shades. They made some lighter shades. I will recommend if you are of a deeper skin tone than I am, I love the channel Angela Denise. She does really great videos. Y'all should go check her out. And she uses the butter bronzer so if you're looking maybe for like a shade reference definitely check her out i'll link her down below i mean she makes all kinds of awesome awesome videos but i love this bronzer i like it's hard to show you because there's a dip in the pan but it has this imprint where it almost looks like it's not used but i feel like i've almost hit pan i don't want to hit pan i'm in the shade deep I don't want to hit pan because then that means I'm going to have to buy another one when it's all gone. But I love the smell of this. It's like a coconut beach. It's such a skin-like finish. It's not shimmery. It's not matte. It has that very like satin, true to skin finish. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. Again, I have the shade Deep. I like to go in with a fluffy brush and just kind of bronze up my whole face. But you want to talk about products that have stood the test of time. Like, I have to mention the Butter Bronzer because I love trying new bronzers. I love getting new favorites, all of that. But this always stays in my top drawer. Okay, let's switch gears and let me tell you a skincare product that I've been using for years. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Now, I had I think it was I think I've been using this since 2017 my skin was going crazy I did a whole overhaul on my skincare routine I was getting breakouts and texture and different like pigmentation on my skin and it, it was rough it was rough and this product I have been using four years now I use this like two nights and then I'll use a retinol two nights and then I'll use a retinol so this is being used all the time. It is very expensive. It's $90, $90, $90, $90, $90. I keep saying it because I'm like, 
it's so expensive but I love it it helps me so much like I said with texture breakouts just even things this is 10% AHA 1% BHA and raspberry extract this says it resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells improving appearance of skin tone texture fine line wrinkles pores the result is greater clarity luminosity yes the first few times I used this, my skin would tingle and then it would go away like maybe after 20 minutes. I love this. I have so many friends who are hooked on this. It is amazing. If you need something for resurfacing, this is awesome. I have tried dupes. I have tried new products that come out that claim to do the same things. I've tried other AHAs and BHAs. Nothing compares to my drunk elephant. I always, always, always go back to it. Okay, let's talk about some blushes. Now, in 2020, I tried Odin's Eye. I ordered some of their blushes. Since then, I am an affiliate with Odin's Eye. My code with Odin's Eye is Heather if you want to save. But I've purchased some of these on my own. Like I said, I've tried the brand in 2020, fell in love with the blushes. Now I have lots of them, as you can see. The one that I'm wearing today is actually a glowy blush. I do use my matte blushes from them the most. So the glowy one I have on today is the Alva Flower Blusher in Water Lily. I don't use the shimmery ones quite as much, but I do love them and I wanted a glowy look today. But let me show you, probably my most used and you can tell is Sweet Peach. I love this one. The imprint is gone of the little fairy. A little bit of this blush goes a long way. These are pigmented, so you dip in there you buff it on your cheeks you have pigment it does not take a lot of product which I love I don't want to be digging and scraping in here the packaging is so cute you have a little mirror sleek cardboard let me show you let me see if I can find like my other which one I would say I use the most is probably this one this is apricot girl again I love the matte blushes the matte blushes are called the fruit blushers fruit 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 blushers and the shimmery more glowy ones are their flower blushers i love both formulas you take your pick you want matte or you want glowy both amazing i've been using them for years cannot recommend those enough they're so good okay pixie highlighter specifically this one this is the glowy glossomer duo in delicate dew I have been using this for so long. It's the highlight I have on today. Like, can you see how beat up and much I've gone in on these pans? Like, this stays top drawer. I love highlight. I love to glow. Listen, I love makeup. I test and try so much makeup. This is amazing. This highlighter from Pixie is 10 out of 10 stars, beautiful. I like that we have a pink side. I like that we have a more champagne side. Today, I just mixed both of them together to get this glow. I love it. I cannot get enough. The formula is so good. I know they make another shade in this duo. I've never tried that one because I just feel like I have everything with this one. It's so, so glowy, so, so reflective. I mean, just look beautiful beautiful definitely stood the test of time love it always reach for it okay the last thing I have to share with you I'm not even getting all these out of my collection but that is the super shock formula from ColourPop I mean I've been trying these since ColourPop launched these and still when they release new shades I'm like hmm do I need that this bouncy texture that ColourPop started with, I love. This is the newest one to my collection. This is Bay. It's like a black with a blue purple shift to it. It's really special, really, really, really beautiful. I like how sparkly these Super Shocks are. And not only Super Shocks for the eyes, but I love the Super Shock blushes. I love the Super Shock highlighters. I'm always interested. I mean, like I said, I just bought this one. About a month ago, I just bought some of the new blushes. I have on this one on the inner corner of my eyes today. This is Fly to Your Heart from the Tinkerbell collection. This one I use a lot. It's a very sparkly, which I am so, so into. 
This one right here is Birthday Boy. This one is super duper old, but still nice. I keep the caps on really good, so they stay nice. I have some from the Hocus Pocus collection. I have tons of those, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to pull them all out of my collection. Just a few, but the ColourPop Super Shock formula, so, so good. I love it. We'll continue to buy those. All right, y'all, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and please let me know down in the comments, what are the products that you have been using for years? Those products that are still worth trying. They're not new, they're not hyped, but you love them, you want them, let your girl know, because I'm always looking to try new products. Now, I can't wait, now that I've now that I've got this video done, I can't wait to go back and watch Andrea's video and see the products that she mentioned. Don't forget to check her out. I will have her linked down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you times 100 million thousand for watching. I always enjoy hanging out with y'all. Let me tell you, um, before I forget, on my eyes I have my Jolie Beauty Vampirism palette. This is a palette that launched Halloween last year, uh, but I just wanted to do something quick and easy and neutral today, so that's what I have on the eyes. My earrings are from last year or the year before from Target. All the things I talked about today, I will link down below, so if you're curious, make sure you check down in the description box, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!